Just the person I'd be looking for were I not forced to seek Anais Lavalette. You have much to explain, Brigida Papabrock. Oh no. You'll not pin this on me. I trusted you and you sent me into a den of vipers. Vipers! Another vess? This is no time for pleasantries, Geralt. Calm yourself, Brigida. You were to watch Falter's children. I saw nothing dangerous in the task. Obviously, I was wrong. But I need your help. Anais has been kidnapped. Boosie is likely dead. I need to know how this happened. I need to know the details. You knew well what you were getting me into. You know that entire rotting bunch. The Count, the Baron. Not half as well as you do, my dear. Who were those men? Not so fast, Roach. I have been hiding in this city for three days, scurrying about like a rat. They're hunting me. I'll not let you leave me here. What do you propose? Escort me out of the city, to the river. What will that get you? I expected I would need to fend for myself. I've secured passage. Take me there, and I will tell you all. It's a long way. You've a traitor in your camp, Roach. Perhaps more than one. What happened to Faltist's bastards is no series of coincidences. It's the result of a clever, treacherous game. Damn it all! Geralt, I need to look to Anais, learn how we're to get to her. But Brigida might know what happened to Boosie. Thus far, we've heard nothing but rumors. Take her to the river. All right, Roach. I'll help you this one last time. I'll search for a back way into the Kedweni camp. You're forgetting. I came here for Triss. Whatever you decide to do later, so be it. But a traitor in the Temerian camp threatens us all. Escort Brigida, learn what you can. I'd thank you, Roach, if you weren't such a shit. I'm counting on you, Geralt. Brigida must get to her destination safely. Good luck, Roach. Which way are we headed? We shall leave Loch Muin through the Order's camp. We won't be bothered there. Then we'll descend the mountain path and go onto the river. Who knows what we'll find? Expecting someone? Does it matter, Witcher? You did mention fights. I remember you from Vizina. Maravel and Kimbot. Powerful men. Blessed be the, the eternal fire! Vernon's <laughs> mentioned them. I guess I have them to beg for an interesting chat. Where should I have them go back? Too early to pry, Witcher. I'll not let you pick my brain and abandon me. The main path leads to the right. That's where they're likely to be waiting. Roach would say they'd be waiting along both paths. Roach, Roach, Roach. You're with me, not him. And I decide for myself. I've agreed to meet someone on the riverbank. We'll go through the wood. Calm thus far. Your dear Roach seems to have been wrong. You two have a history. Or do I have it wrong? He asked a favor of me. I was to stay with Faltist's children, watch them, travel with them if necessary. Child's play, the bastard called it. That's how I wound up in the caravan transporting the children to Loch Muin for the summit. <laughs> yeah, that clearly went sour. Tell me more. Soon enough. We've just got to make it through the forest. It's a short way to the river beyond that. It should be calm. Let's go. It's not far now. Redlin awaits down by the river, at the end of this path. Is Redlin another of Roach's contacts? No, a smuggler. I'd be looking for another way out if he were Roach's man. Stay behind me. Roaches, bitch! Kill them! Wanna dance, white? Thank you. 
Jones, how much further? Not far. We must stay on this path. It's the shortest way. We've had into some serious trouble. I should say so. Temerio is like a haystack, and the information I have is a burning torch. Feel the rest in for yourself. How many more can there be? This is the smuggler I spoke of. This was the smuggler you spoke of. Someone's coming. You'll not sail off, you whore! Kill her! Wanna dance? I'd not have survived on my own. Talk, woman. You've dragged me far away from the city. You owe me an explanation. Who were those men? Who have you been hiding from? I... I don't know. Three days like a rat, you said. And you don't know? I knew. I mean, I had my suspicions. So talk. Who's out to kill you? I don't know. There you go again. Truly, I cannot be sure. At first I thought it was revenge for the children. But he knows I'm no traitor. It's not Roach. We both know that. Yes, yes. You're right. Tell me about the Vipers. They... they created this storm. Are they working together? I would say they detest one another. Or that's what they wish everyone to believe. The devil only knows. You know what the Count intends? No, but I cannot imagine anyone more different from Baron Kimbolt. Meaning? I would call him a sheep were his heart not black. He's a jester, 
An especially nasty one, though I cannot identify his master. He may not even have one. What does Baron Kimbolt want? A strong Temeria, and a strong North. He's obsessed. He believes we're surrounded by rebels and traitors. The Lavalettes, the Maravels. He's probably not alone in that belief. But he is alone in believing that he himself is the remedy for that ailment. The Baron sees himself on the Temerian throne. He claimed he would achieve this by marrying Anais. Isn't she a little young for him? He's a disgusting old sutter. He'd be a tyrant were he to don the crown. Seems you got to know the Baron and the Count well. Then there's Roach. Pretty interesting social life, I'd say. Being a courtier, that was no life for me. I thought it terribly dull and found a remedy. Searching for excitement shouldn't get you killed. It's the last time I do anything of the sort. You can't be sure of that. Is Vernon the only person you do favors for? I've never betrayed Temeria, if that's what you ask. What happened to the convoy carrying Anais and Busi? What about the children? We were ambushed. The caravan was destroyed. I need details. We were traveling along the agreed path, with a limited escort so as not to draw attention. The children were in two separate wagons, a safety measure, I was told. Which one were you in? I was with Anais. One day a messenger appeared with orders for the caravan's commander. A change of plans. We turned north to travel a longer route for safety's sake. Soon after the turn-off, we were attacked. The attackers were killing everyone indiscriminately. One pulled me from the wagon, but a bolt pierced his neck. It was mayhem. I ran for the bushes and hid. Did you see what happened to the children? The driver of Boosie's wagon was shot. The horses got spooked and ran off into the forest, taking the wagon with them. When the fighting was done, they found Anais still in her wagon. I turned away for fear of what they might do. I nearly grabbed her and fled. Any idea what happened to the caravan commander's orders? I have them. After they took Anais, the bastards were in a hurry. They didn't even think to search the corpses. Take them. Thanks. Sure you can manage that boat? I must. I'll not return to the city. Thank you again, Witcher. And follow this through. You'll do us all a favor. Eh? I believe there's been a misunderstanding, my lord. Get out, before I call my guards. And what might I convey? Nothing. Baron, sir, you gave your word. For the last time, out! Tend to this matter. Baron Raven and Kimbolt, I presume. Does that witcher's code of yours exempt you from court etiquette? Does it grant you the right to speak to the Highborn without being asked to do so? I guess I don't need to introduce myself. Oh no. I know who you are. Geralt of Rivia. Foltest's other favorite hound alongside Roach. Not purebred. They say you bring trouble wherever you appear. Who was that thug I passed in the doorway? He's of no concern to you. People like him sometimes do stupid things. Did I ask for your opinion on the matter? What'll happen to Temeria? Is that a note of nostalgia I hear in your voice? Remembering your service under Faultist, or recalling some romp in the sack with the royal advisor? Whichever it may be, spare me your courtesy. You don't care a lick about my country. I asked out of concern for a friend. I came here with Vernon Roach. I know. We royal hounds like to stick together. Understand this. I'm talking to you only out of respect for Fortest. Out of remembrance for him. 
Haven't seen much evidence of that remembrance, aside from the rewards on my head. They'd have hanged you if not for the testimony of little Anais. So the girl finally talked. Whoever that monk was, to me, he was just like you. I didn't kill Fultest. That's just one of the things that makes us different. Really? What else? Honor? Principles? I'm a witcher. I don't kill humans for coin. Are you certain it's not just a question of price? Tell me, Geralt. What were you doing at Fultest's side that unfortunate day? Triss Marigold. I was there for her. In that case, you killed many for that woman. I hope she was worth it. You're a paid thug. Even if you refuse to acknowledge it. That murky set of principles, values call them. You cast them in the nearest corner when the price is right. I'm not for sale. I'm not talking about coin, Witcher. As a freak, you want what you're most often denied. Camaraderie. Respect. Love. It is for those things that you scale walls and murder innocents. That is your price. They say there are no innocents at war. Indeed. At war, there is but the cause you fight for. A higher calling. Though they also say war is a refuge for the cursed. An asylum for those stripped of heart and soul. A higher calling. Beautiful concept. Except I remember the knights who stormed Lavalette Castle. High-born men fighting atop high walls. They were out to kill for fame, fortune, and pure enjoyment. I was also at Vergen, where simple soldiers went into battle clutching false relics to their breast, knowing that death awaited them if they deserted it. They owed it to their king. If there's one thing I love about being a Witcher, it's that I never have to draw my sword on someone else's command. I tire of this discussion, Witcher. Get to the point or leave. They're gonna re-establish the Conclave. I didn't expect so many Temerians to show up for the ceremony. We're not here for some magic pomp and circumstance. This is about celebrating a new order in the Northern Kingdoms. Is that so? Your kind doesn't understand this yet, but your life is about to change. Forever. My kind. Wanderers and scoundrels. People, and I use the term loosely, without loyalty or country. People for whom coin is the law and everything's for sale. The convoy carrying Anais and Busi was ambushed. Why? I'd like to know that myself. I've seen your letter to Horst Lubbock, the one in which you ordered him to abandon the planned route. Nonsense! I send no such letter. The letter bears your seal and signature, Baron. Where is it? That's immaterial just now. If that's the situation, I've said all I have to say. I wrote no such letter. Words come cheap, Baron. I'm finding it hard to believe you. I care little for what you believe. If this letter exists, we are dealing with a forgery. Whoever is behind this has crossed a Tamerian noble and will be duly punished. My scribe will test the letter and confirm what I claim. All right. I'll see what this scribe has to say. There are objective means of examining the letter's authenticity. I promise to pay you well for learning the truth. Hmm. The truth does taste better when payment's involved. King Slayer. Water quenches lame? Drunker than like a bard. Beer Won't get anything out of him. This. Maybe there's something about testing letters in his notes. Cormorants! A string of- I don't know any of these substances. Best not risk destroying the letter. Maybe there's a formula for the activator in the scribe's notes. How did it go? Light, quench, shit, rinse. Thus you will the facts evince. To read the truth by lies deformed, guano into piss transform. I 
need to make the substance that will bring out the dye and apply it to the letter. A little burnt lime. A bit of water. Everything's better with a dash of bird guano. Wait for it to dissolve. I need to add burnt lime to the flask, then quench it with water. Add bird guano to that, heat it, then capture the vapors and run them through cold water to obtain the final substance. All right. Let's try this on Kimbolt's letter. I need to make the substance that will bring out the dye and apply it to the letter. A little burnt lime. A bit of water. Everything's better with a dash of bird guano. Wait for it to dissolve. It smells like piss, but it worked. The sheet's orange, not blue. The letter's fake. Kimbolt had nothing to do with this. Young alchemist, do as you order. I said to Young alchemist! You have it coming. You were right, Baron. The letter's forged. Of course I was right. I would never seek to hurt Boosie. Bastard or not, he is still a child. Your payment, Witcher. I want you to look into another matter. What would it involve? Count Linus Maravel. You've heard the name? Young, capable, handsome. Yeah. Yes, yeah, all that and more. And he's ambitious to a fault. Right after the Temerian delegation arrived in Loch Wien, his people began visiting the Nilfgaardian camp, regularly. Are you suggesting Maravel's a traitor? We are all entitled to communicate with the Ambassador without chagrin and openly, as court and diplomatic protocols allow. Yet the Count's multiple messengers, the letters traveling to and fro, it reminds me more of a complicated courtship. You're curious to know the content of those letters. I want you to learn the Count's plans. The man would sell his mother to please the Emperor. Find out what Maravel's messenger is carrying. If treason is involved, you must alert John Natalis. You will be generously rewarded, I assure you. How do I locate this messenger? Look for my man, Aldridge, by the fountain here in the camp. He'll point the mage out to you. All right, I'll look into it. My lord, we know where they are. What are your orders? Bloody wonderful day. Assemble your men and resolve. Aldrich, Baron Kimbolt said you'd point Hieronymus Lash out to me. Perfect timing. Come with me. One day, someone will get you in a dark alley. Whoa! Where's Lash? Patience, mate. They should be here any minute. Look, then. I've done my bit. Up to you now. White one. What if I don't? Then I'll fucking help you! I'd like to see you try. Consider it done! For Natalis! That 
the one. Kill him! Shall die here and now. King Slayer. So many crowned heads in one place. You must be pleased. Ha 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 ha! Geralt of Rivia, I am delighted to see you among the living and the free. Are you serious, Count? Such an injustice to lock you up without so much as a hearing. And then the beatings, the torture, it's barbaric, I tell you. Based on pure prejudice. 
the presumption of guilt. Actually, if I'd seen what they saw. Uh, but alas, such is my homeland, filled with fear and thus ruthless, cold as stone, dark and severe in aura and mindset. I suppose there's some truth to that. A response at once cautious and reasonable. Admirable qualities in and of themselves positively required in your profession. If you say so. What's so urgent, Count? Ah, oh, etiquette is not your enemy, Witcher. It would not hurt you to embrace it at times. In any case, I could not help noticing you circulating in and out of Baron Kimbolt's quarters. Yet I wonder if you are fully aware of the kind of man you serve. What do you mean? He cuts a fine figure, doesn't he? The heavy cloak, the silver mane, the booming voice. Yet our worthy Baron is hardly the saint he makes himself out to be. A lot of that going around recently. I am in possession of certain information that might interest you. Mm-hmm. And you want to share it because... We come from different worlds, Witcher. On the surface, we are as unlike as wraiths and wyverns. Yet, no matter our preferences, culinary, political, erotic, ultimately we both are interested in and tirelessly seek one and the same thing. The truth. You can talk, Count. I'll grant you that. But I'm not convinced you can be trusted. Baron Kimbold also offered me the chance to learn a certain truth. I don't think I need to say who about. And you are certain that Kimbold can be trusted? So far, all the Baron's words have proved true. Well, then I merely ask that you verify mine. You are not the sole person to have repeatedly visited our kind-hearted Baron recently. Doesn't seem strange to me, given the time and the place. He has also had some more troublesome callers, blackmailers to be specific. Now, I'm not handing down any verdicts. Perhaps the Baron has some personal problems, in which case I would very much like to help him. Get to the point, Count. My people have learned where these blackmailers are encamped. I assume Baron Kimbolt has not been sitting on his hands and has also dispatched his huntsman to find them. A horrible man. I know who you mean. Ran into him in Kimbolt's quarters. Then you must also know that if you do not make haste, nothing will be left of our blackmailers, save some rotting corpses. I shall show you where they have their camp, and I merely ask that you learn what is at issue. Naturally, you can count on my gratitude, though we both know that is not the greatest reward. I can't promise you anything, Count, but I'll think about it. Farewell. What do you want? I saw you talking to Kimbolt. <laughs> I'm free to go where I please and talk to whoever I please. Couldn't agree more. Now you're here and you'll talk to me. I'm interested in the Baron. I've naught to say to you. Not good, because I need to know everything you know about him. Baron Kimbolt sends his regards. Oh, just what we needed. Leave us, Witcher. Since when does a witcher take orders from a huntsman? Since that witcher stopped hunting monsters and started poking his nose into others' affairs. Sometimes the stench is so strong you can't help but catch a whiff. Aye, well spoken. You've some common stinking thugs here, and I'm to teach them some humility. A ponce like you? Pucker up and kiss my arse, you fucking tulip! These folk have nothing to say to you, understand? I'll be the judge of that. Lend us a hand, Witcher. You'll not regret it. I'll need to know everything about Kimbolt. God, this is shit! Enough of your jabbering! Kill them all! Never seen anything like that in my life! Thanks, Witcher. We'd be corpses if not for you. Yeah, seems likely. Now don't make me regret helping you. You're welcome to all we know about Kimball. I'm all ears. We came here to collect our fee, me and me brothers, for a favor we did the Baron. What did you do for him? It's 
spent four days in a forest, sitting on our asses. Baron Kimbolt wanted to pay you for that. Course not. We was to destroy some wagons in a caravan that was to pass through Millville. Problem is, caravan never came round. I can see why you're having trouble collecting. Kimball had shy information. How is that our fault? That bugger lost us a right lot of time. And you know what they say, time is coin. What exactly were your orders? We was to watch the high road for a caravan carrying nobles. Two coloured wagons and a small escort. The wagons, they was ours. All inside was to perish. Any idea who was supposed to be in the wagons? Two high-born young'uns and their nannies. That's all the Baron told us. Willing to tell Natalis all this? I'm to fess up! They draw and quarter me! You didn't do anything. Took a job, that's it. They can't prove you actually wanted to complete it. If you refuse, Kimbolt wins. He'll squirm his way out of this, but it won't end there. The Baron's got gold enough to hunt you till he hunts you down. Not lightly. I'll see them tear stripes off his back with hot pincers. All right, I'll talk to Natalis. King Slayer. Uh-oh! Trouble? Roach may trust you, but I'm not so sure. What do you want? There's a traitor among the Temerians. Careful, Witcher. You'd better have evidence if you plan to accuse someone of treason. Busi and Anais. Yes? Count Maravel outright betrayed Temeria, while Baron Kimbold planned to murder Foltest's children. Those are serious charges. Kimbold hired some thugs to do the wet work for him. I found them, and one's ready to testify. They never got the job done because the convoy carrying the children changed course, only to fall into an ambush set by Maravel. The Count wanted to hand Anais and Busi over to the Nilfgaardians. You'll find the proof in this letter. Busi's death was an accident. Dark clouds gather over Temeria. I cannot arrest them both. Their contingents are among the largest in Loch Muin, and I cannot risk mutiny by their men. Thank you, Witcher. You did well to bring this matter to my attention. I only hope Baron Kimbolt will agree to stand with me. So you see, Baron, I have learned all. And it makes me sick to think about it. However, you may count yourself fortunate for we've a greater problem to deal with. You shall provide me with your full support as we arrest Count Maraval. This plea sounds more like a threat to me, Constable. It is no plea. It is an order, and yes, a threat. Refuse, and the Council of Regents shall receive ample evidence of your crime, of your wish to slay the children for whom our King gave his life. What are your terms, Natalis? Upon returning to Vizima, I shall destroy the evidence against you. Prior to that, however, I expect your unconditional support. How can I be certain you will do as you pledge? My words still mean something, unlike yours, you lying, rotting son of a whore. So be it. But heed this, Constable. Do not try to cross me.